This is what I envision as some kind of scan of some sort immediately instead of filling out paperwork, some scan that pre-populates everything, it recognizes your data immediately, admission happens quickly. What if getting great health care didn't mean filling out the same forms over and over, waiting weeks for follow-ups, or hoping your doctor had time to catch everything? In this highlight from Mind the Machine podcast, Ferrum Health CEO Pelu Tran paints a hopeful and practical vision of how AI can transform the healthcare system, not by replacing doctors, but by supporting them, streamlining patient care, and preventing serious medical errors. You know, all of these things are bespoke, anticipated, custom, and quick. I see a little bit of that today. Is that the utopia you see as well? We all have a vision for like if we were able to receive the care we wanted to receive, I think we know what it is, right? It's like, uh, I think some places have you know, like hints of it. Mayo Clinic is a great example where you, know, you walk in for your cancer care and you get you know brought around by someone who you know, has your appointment scheduled uh, in a row. And in a few hours, you've seen the oncologist, the surgeon, the radiologist, and you've kind of gone through the journey and the kind of at the end of it, they give you this nice handout with all the summary of your visit. That happens at a lot of cancer centers today it's it, and it's because of course cancer is extremely expensive and so they have the budget to do so it also happens in a lot of international centers that do like medical tourism now you can walk into a hostel in turkey and in like four hours you've got soup to nuts uh, checkup with like five different doctors and a urologist so you can do it but you do it in environments where there's a lot of funding and a lot of money and i think mm. that's what ai hopefully allows is like it doesn't matter if you're you know, see a concierge practice with a doctor that only treats the rich and wealthy in Palo Alto. Uh, or if you're mm -hmm. a Medicare patient, you're able to receive that sort of high quality, low cost and like extremely uh, patient friendly experience. And the only way we're going to do that is with widespread AI adoption in healthcare. Wow. A really interesting metric that we that we heard from one of our customers, which is that they were spending $500,000 internally to turn on a vendor that was being paid $50,000 per year. Yeah. And so they were spending $10 for every $1 they were actually spending on AI just because they were having to go through all these internal processes and it was just so burdensome to implement that AI, AI tool. Again, you've got these really outdated systems. You have really conservative leadership team generally. You've got a bunch of stakeholders involved mm -hmm. uh, and you've got all these internal costs that exist. And so, you know, what that means to us is they could be deploying 10 times as much AI with the same budget as they are today, but it's that activation energy. It's a friction that they currently have. And so when we think about how that looks different, like you think about, hey, like, can let's eliminate that friction. Let's give a standardized way to onboard vendors. Let's give them a, a secure and fully managed place to run those vendors. And let's give them complete visibility into how those tools are performing and their safety and their impact on their patients. And yeah, so a dashboard ultimately. Exactly. And so from the yeah. end user is like, imagine Star Trek and you have all your indicators in your dashboard, probably going to be better for them to have AI than to not and from cost perspective, from overall healthcare outcomes. Make sure you subscribe to Mind the Machine podcast, like the video, and leave a comment letting us know what you thought.